everyone today we are going to talk about fpm i'm sure even you've heard this term many institutes are promoting this program quite aggressively they say that this is a doctoral research program many students have asked me that if fpm is a doctoral research program then does that mean that fpm is also a phd and if it is a phd then why is it being promoted with a different name and in case it is not a phd then why do we call it as a research program in case you also have questions related to fpm and would like to know what are the similarities and differences between fpm and phd then stay tuned with me your one and only phd mentor advisor and trainer dr ritika gaba so to understand exactly what is an fpm and how is it similar or different than a phd it is important to understand the hierarchy of the higher education industry especially the dynamics between ugc and aict no 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 you don't have to forward this part i am not going to bore you with a lot of details just very quickly so uh, the education which we take after our class 12 comes under the higher education industry which also includes your fpm and phd so ministry of education is the apex body of higher education industry under which comes the ugc or university grants commission which is responsible to regulate all the universities and its affiliated college if a university is not recognized by ugc it will be considered as a fake university supporting ugc we have many statutory councils for example your bar council your pharmacy council of india or your dental council of india one of the most prominent amongst all these council is aicte all india council of technical education as the name suggest aicte is responsible for all the technical education which includes your engineering and your management so if a university has to launch a management or a engineering program then that program needs to be recognized by ugc because it's a university however and for a university it is not mandatory to take a aicte approval you even if they have a ugc approval that's enough however if it is an autonomous institute which is only and only providing say engineering program or only a management program then for them it is mandatory that they take the approval of aicte and they do not require the approval of ugc so now the question arises then what exactly and how does this uh, ugc recognition or aicte recognition impact the students so if a, a student qualifies their program or finishes their course from a ugc recognized university or college then in the end they are going to get a degree in their hand whereas if they complete their program from a aicte recognized autonomous institute then they are going to get a diploma in their hand of course nowadays many autonomous institute take the approval of aiu which is association of indian universities because of which the diploma in india is considered equivalent to a degree however the the certificate which you get in the end is a diploma so here is the major difference between an institute which is ugc recognized and aict recognized i would like to add here one important thing that there is another group of institute in india called as the institution of national importance which includes your iit iims triple iit nit and so on these are those institute which are uh, organized or which are opened under the act of uh, parliament so these institute are also allowed to grant a degree in india so now that you've understood what is ugc and aicte let us understand how are these two related to fpm and phd now phd is a degree program and phd in india can only be pursued from either a university or an institution of national importance fpm on the other hand is a diploma program which can be pursued from an autonomous institute so does that mean that fpm is a research program and what are the other differences between an fpm and a phd 
FPM, the full form of FPM is Fellow Program in Management. And as the name suggests, it is indeed a research program, but in the field of management. However, students from diverse fields, be it engineers, architects, medical, sciences, social sciences, can apply in the FPM program. However, in the end, the degree that you get, the diploma that you get uh, will be in the area of management. Whereas a PhD is an extremely broad program, which is not limited to any one area. If a university is offering a PhD program, they would be offering it in different disciplines and subjects. So from the same university, a person can pursue a PhD in management, a PhD in engineering, PhD in science, sociology, psychology, literature, and so on and so forth. So if you would essentially compare, FPM is actually in competition with or is similar to a PhD in management. That is the difference and the similarity between a PhD and FPM. From here, we move on to our next question where I'm going to tell you what is the eligibility to pursue an FPM program and what is the core structure of an FPM program when we compare it with a PhD program. Before discussing and comparing the eligibility criteria and the course of PhD and FPM, let me tell you names of certain prestigious institutes in India which are actually offering an FPM program. Let's begin with ISB Hyderabad, followed by MDI Gurgaon, IRMA in Gujarat, then SPJN in Mumbai, IMT Ghaziabad, Hyderabad, and there are multiple other autonomous management institutes which are offering an FPM program in India. I have gone through the regulation of all these uh, prestigious institutes that I've just mentioned and many other institutes uh, regulations also I have studied and with great certainty I can tell you that the eligibility criteria which most of the FPMs have uh, accept is very similar to that of the PhD eligibility criteria which has been given by UGC in its regulation. Similarly even the coursework which is processed or the entire process of doing an FPM program is extremely similar to that of a PhD program. So now you would going to ask me that if it is so similar to a PhD program, then what is the difference? Rather than doing a PhD in management, we can definitely do a FPM in management. Yes, you can. But before that, I need to tell you one big difference between an FPM and a PhD. So the major difference lies between the between FPM and a PhD relates to the title which is conferred. When you complete a PhD program, you are given a doctorate degree and you can use the title or the prefix of doctor in front of your name. When you finish an FPM program, you are conferred with the title of a fellow. Now, fellow is something which cannot be used as a prefix in front of your name. But yes, many people after writing down their name, like to write down in front of their names fellow from so-and-so institute. So this is the major difference between an FPM and PhD. So I'm sure that after watching this video, many of you are going to ask me that what is this FPM program of IIMs? Do they give a dip diploma or a degree? So IIMs currently will give you a degree. Then why are the programs called an FPM program? The reason is that IIMs in itself are very old institute. No, many of them are around 50 years old. And when they were established, they were established as an autonomous institute. And because they were an autonomous institute, autonomous management institute, the uh, research program they were offering was by the name of FPM. However, after 2017, IIMs was given the status of institution of national importance and therefore now that is post 2017 if you're pursuing your your doctoral program from IIMs you would be getting a degree but since this doctoral program of IIMs was already popular under the name of FPM most of the IIMs have continued offering this research program under the name of FPM only 
but there are many who have started calling it as a doctoral program as well if you would read in detail the eligibility criteria or the details of these institute you would see that they have mentioned that they would be giving you a degree after the end of this program so i hope you clearly clearly understood the difference between an fpm program and a phd i hope with this you are clear with the differences between and the similarities between an fpm and a phd i would like to end this video with a disclaimer in big and bold letters the purpose of making this video was only to educate you empower you with genuine in depth and correct knowledge related to fpm and phd nowhere do i want to promote one program over the other whether you choose an fpm program or a phd program completely depends on your choice your needs and qualification and future goals kindly do not ask me in the comment section which one of the two is better because what might be better for one student might be the worst choice for the other one however in case as an individual you are confused between the two and you want a correct guidance a personalized guidance then you can always get in touch with me in the below mentioned number i would be very happy to give you a personal consultancy after discussing your goals and your qualification and what are your selection criteria i can suggest you for you as an individual what would be better fpm or phd but uh, as in a group collectively i cannot say which one of the two is better because both of them are great programs so from with this i end this video i hope you did like whatever we have shared in this video if you did then please tell us in the comment section below if you have any other questions queries please put them in the comment section below we love to answer your questions if you would go and see our comment section earlier we have always answered given answers to all your questions so please ask us questions we will definitely answer them this is dr ritika gaba and thank you so much for watching my video